Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Ronnie Show. So glad you could be with us here tonight. Uh, oh, we're going to be talking about some college football, some NFL football, some MLB action, and then of course USHL action. Musketeers, they got a game tonight, which is why the programming block is pushed back like a lot, or pushed up a lot. Because now we're starting at 5 instead of, you know, 7 o'clock when we usually would air this. Or 7.30 actually is when we aired it last time. So, yeah, so a two and a half hour difference for sure. But the game starts at 6. So, and of course we'll be live streaming that. So, yeah, let's get started right away with this. Um, college football scores right now in the fourth quarter now. This is as of, as you can see, 2.16 p.m our time in the central time zone so it might be 316 for you on the east coast 1216 on the um pacific coast whatever the west coast uh, that was the word i was looking for so yeah these games most of these games are going to be over by the time you see this so well at least like the 11 30 slate of or the 11 o'clock slate of games are going to be over the noon slate some of the 330 games will still be going on and wrapping up maybe in the third quarter or something like that so yeah 441 left to go here in the fourth uh georgia's leading south carolina 48 nothing in fact michigan is beating yukon 52 to nothing oklahoma's beating nebraska 49 to 7 i watched literally all three of these games and i could not find my enjoyment whatsoever in fact turner classic movies was more entertaining than this was <laughs> and i'll tell you than these games were and this one too i watched a little bit of this game man all these games are blowouts like <laughs> oh i expect people to still be watching by then but you know uh baylor if is beating texas state 42 to 7 BYU's at Oregon, Ole Miss is at Georgia Tech, Penn State is at Auburn. I hope most of these games are better than those games. UL Monroe's at Alabama, Liberty is at Wake Forest, Toledo is at Ohio State later tonight, Arkansas Pine Bluff is at Oklahoma State. Now, this is top 25 action, just so you know, everyone. Missouri State is at Arkansas, Akron's at Tennessee, Texas Tech is at NC State, uh, Michigan State is at Washington, South Florida is at Florida, <laughs> Pittsburgh's at Western Michigan, Louisiana Tech is at Clemson, um, UTSA is at Texas, uh, Miami's at Texas A&M, or San Diego State's at Utah, and then Fresno State is at USC, and then Kentucky beat Young State 31-0, so a bunch of blowouts here in college football today, but that that's okay. NFL scores. Um, Thursday, that was the first game of Thursday Night Football on Prime Video. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we could get Prime Video on our TV, but we didn't watch because Press Your Luck and Generation Gap are on. And that's pretty much our Thursday Night Television watching right there. But during Press Your Luck, we had to flip back and forth between that and Law and & Order because for some reason my mom loves Law & Order. I mean, I, I like Law & Order, but, you know, not enough to watch it, like, consistently. I mean, I can look it up on YouTube or whatever and watch it there. But <laughs> I'm, in I, I'm getting off topic here, but for whenever the theme comes on, I'm in marching band, just so you know. So every time that theme comes on, I always joke. And say, hey, we should do that for marching band sometime, you know, as like a halftime type of thing, you know, kind of, you know, surprise and freak out a lot of people, you know, I mean, that, that would be a good marching band song, the Law and Order theme one, not gonna lie, but, all right, back to topic, uh, to the noon slate of games on Sunday, we have Jets at Browns, the Commanders at the Lions, the Buccaneers at Saints, Panthers at Gi or Giants, Patriots at Steelers, Colts are at the Jaguars, Dolphins are at the Ravens, then the 305 slash 325 slate of games, I don't know why, some start at 3.05 and then some start on 3.25. I've noticed the Fox games start at 3.05 and then the CBS games start at 3.25. I don't, I don't know why they do that, but I, because I think that's kind of stupid. Why don't you have them just start, you know, at one specific time instead of, you know, but. <sighs> Falcons <laughs> are at the Rams. Seahawks are at the 49ers. The man the Bengals are at the Cowboys. The Texans are at the Broncos. The Cardinals are at the Raiders. 
and then later Sunday night, we have Bears at Packers, and then we have two Monday night football games on, instead of it being a double header on ESPN like it normally is. Usually that happens first week in the entire season, but no. Week two, I, I guess... ESPN just had different thoughts or whatever. I mean, at 6.15, we have Titans at Bills, and then at 7.30, the Vikings at the Eagles. So, like, I don't, I don't know what the point of that was, but... Okay, it says ESPN slash ESPN2, so I'm guessing that's going to be the Manning cast game, I'm assuming. Um, but I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. But, um... Yeah. I don't know why they they did that that just seems stupid in my opinion i mean with how bit i mean wouldn't that cause a bit of a ratings type of dip for monday night football on espn i i well obviously i think vikings and eagles would get bigger ratings because you know it's on abc and espn's just a cable network um but I don't know. I just think that decision was kind of stupid. To <laughs> have one at 6.15 and then one at 7.30. I mean, if they were both on ABC, that would cause big problems, I would think. You know, if one starts at 6.15 and the other starts at 7.30 and TV, uh, the TV stations would have to adjust programming and stuff. And that would just be a big nightmare all on its own. But, yeah, I, I just don't get that one. I really don't. MLB scores. Last night. Uh, ooh, excuse me, the Cubs beat the Rockies 2-1, the Nationals beat the Marlins 5-4, the Blue Jays beat the Orioles 6-3, the Tigers beat the White Sox in 10 innings 3-2, the Red Sox beat the Royals 2-1, Guardians beat the Twins 4-3, Mets beat the Pirates 4-3, Rangers beat the Rays 4-3, Philly, er, the, excuse me, the Braves beat the Phillies 7-2, uh, the Brewers beat the Yankees 7-6, Astros beat the A's 5-0, Cardinals beat the Reds 6-5, Angels beat the Mariners 8-7, Padres beat the Diamondbacks 12-3, and then Dodgers beat the Giants 5-0. Today's games, there's a couple of them going on right now, yeah, top of the eighth, game one in the double hunter, Guardians leading the Twins 5-1. Then the Cardinals are beating the Reds in the top of the 7th, 5 nothing. That's also a doubleheader, game number one in that. Bottom of the 4th, Rockies and Cubs tied up at 0. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Boring game, right? <laughs> I would have said, I don't know, I wouldn't assume that. But bottom of the 1st, Blue Jays or uh, uh, Blue Jays and the Orioles are, uh, the Orioles are tied up at 0. We have the Marlins and the Nationals and the Ro Royals at the Red Sox later this afternoon. Also later this afternoon, we have the White Sox and the Tigers and then the Rangers at the race. I don't know. I consider, you know, 12 to like 5.30 the afternoon. I don't know why. And then at 5.30, that kind of starts the evening, you know, kind of, but whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, Rangers are at the Rays um, at 5 o'clock too. And then the game two of the doubleheader between the Twins and the Guardians at 6. That's later tonight. Yankees at the Brewers, 6 o'clock. A A's at the Astros, that's at 6. Pirates at Mets, and then at 6.15, Game 2 of the doubleheader between the Reds and the Cardinals. Um, the Phillies are at the Braves later tonight. And then the Padres are at the Diamondbacks. The Dodgers are at the Giants. And then the Mariners are at the Angels. Um, some USHL scores, because, you know, we got to go over that. Um... Lincoln is at Omaha. In fact, that game should be off and underway right now. But every time, as you can see, it says 404 air not found or whatever. But um, yeah. By the way, they did completely change the website. So I mean, my Wi-Fi is good. People, don't worry. Huh? It's just. Yeah, see, 404, it looks like you're lost. Well, the new website already crashed, didn't it? <laughs> oh, God, okay. Uh, <laughs> we have Lincoln at Omaha, and then, well, here, let's just go to the scoreboard part, because, you know, that, that, uh, okay, here we go. Here's what we wanted. 3-1 to one, um, at the end, or at the beginning of the second period, we have Lincoln at Omaha. Later this afternoon, we have Des Moines at Waterloo. Then later tonight, we have Muskegon at Team USA. Um, Sioux Falls at Fargo, our game, it didn't include it in here, but we're going to have a team from 
British Columbia, yes, the Wenatchee Wild, they're going to be here in town. Well, of course, we'll have that game for you. Then we have Youngstown at Chicago, and then Madison at Green Bay. Um, so, what the schedule's gonna look like for the next, oh, week or so, um, I did decide to push back a couple of tapings of Blankety Blank, so, I think one is gonna, uh, I'd have to look at the filming schedule, or the, yeah, um, so, I rescheduled one of the Blankety Blank episodes to this upcoming Tuesday, and then, of course, we'll have the regular Friday and Saturday airing. And then um, we'll have our two-episode season finale on Friday the 30th at 9 and at 9.30. And then we have the doubleheader of High Rollers that Wednesday. And then the live season two finale of Countdown on the 27th. So that'll be fun. That will be at 9 p.m. Eastern Time for that. So, yeah, I... So... Also, another update about um, the Ronnie show. Well, technically it was the weekly show, but that got canceled because of low ratings. Um, so what I decided to do is that I didn't want to quit doing it. Um, I just wanted to, you know, put it into a different, you know, format or whatever. So that, you know, because I still wanted to do it. And, you know, so we just turned it into extra episodes of the Ronnie show. So now you'll see instead of, you know... 10 or 15 or whatever in a season episodes of the Ronnie show in a season you're gonna get 40 to 50 in a season um maybe even 30 uh, I know the better get estimation would be 30 to 40 something like that yeah okay uh, la, 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 la. okay <laughs> sorry about that everyone um gosh uh yeah, but I just want to give a little heads up to everyone that, um, yeah, just so you know, um, starting next week and going for the next couple of weeks, um, we probably won't have one of these week, um, editions of the Ron show, um, depending on, because I have band competitions every Saturday from next Saturday and for the next four weeks. So, we might, um, we're gonna have one here in town on next Saturday, so I might have a weekly show for that, um, depending on what time that, that's gonna be at, um, and then the Saturday after that on October 1st, um, um, we're, I'm gonna be out of town in, um, uh, for that, so I'm, so don't expect a week or one of these then next week or the week after that on October 8th not only do we have um that the season opener hockey game I have two band competitions out of town in two different cities so I'm going to be traveling a lot so no weekly show then either and then October 15th we'll be out of town then too so don't expect don't expect weekly shows on the 1st and the 8th and the 15th of October um, next Saturday, I might, depending on how the schedule works out and such. So, yeah, um, that's really all I gotta say about that. Um, so yeah, we probably won't have the, Ro or the Ronnie show here for the next four weeks. So, yeah, um, if I do try to do one of these, it'll probably, um, film late Friday night after, like, all sports are done, and then we can go, but that would be too late, and we might have to wake up early to, you know, get to these competitions and be there early and whatever, so, yeah, that would just, yeah, so don't, exp um, you might get an episode of The Ronnie Show next week in this format, but you won't get any on the 1st, the 8th, or the 15th of next month. So, if there's no weekly show next week, um, expect one to come next October 22nd. So, yeah, a, a little over a month from now is when we'll um, probably have the next one, if it isn't next week, depending on how the schedule is. Because the band competition next week is in town, but depending on what time it is and blah, 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 I might not have any time to film it. So, 
yeah, don't really expect a weekly show next week. Um, if I do, it'll be a complete surprise to me, not only to me, but to all of you. So, yeah, look forward to the next Ronnie show on October 22nd. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.